Sergio Ratcliffe is ready to greenlight four new arrivals at Manchester United in January with a defensive midfielder among their priorities. The British billionaire is set to take on 25% of the club and is poised to be in control of their football operations. Recruitment is set to be a key part of that, with the Ineos chief prepared to sanction arrivals in problem positions. United boss Eric Ten Hag was allowed to spend hefty sums once again in the summer, bringing in the likes of Erasmus Hoyland, Mason Mount and Andre Onana, but the team have struggled and there's a need to continue investing in the squad as they make up for a slow start. A defensive midfielder is on the club's radar, as is a right-sided centre-back, a number eight and a striker. Their search for a midfielder comes as Casemiro, a huge hit in his debut season, has begun to show the effects of his age. A lack of form and fitness have seen his levels drop off notably. Sofian Amrabat, a player who Ten Hag pushed for, has failed to fire since his loan move from Fiorentina with concerns raised internally. A forward is the least of their priorities given that Ten Hag signed Hueyland for more than £70 million in the summer and the Dane has shown plenty of potential. Centre-back has been a constant issue with their desire to sign a new face, potentially pointing to a possible exit or two. Rafael Varane has fallen out of favour, but that was played down by Ten Hag in recent weeks. Any business may depend on potential outgoings, with the club conscious of their financial fair play position. Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay were both tipped for summer exits, but have grown in influence as the season has gone on. Any new arrivals in the final third may well depend on United finding a buyer for Anthony Martial, who has long been a peripheral figure. United have picked up form in the Premier League of late, but are still chasing the top four and face the threat of an early Champions League exit.